YouTube, how's it going today? I'm gonna show you the simplest way to set up a green screen in OBS Studio. You know, sometimes you just don't have a nice background. We are looking to add some styles and effects into your streams and recordings. That is when this piece of cloth comes in and the flexibility that comes with removing your background is unmatched, trust me. From adding really cool virtual backgrounds to your streams and recordings to styling your lectures and presentations. To set this up, we're going to need four main things. A green screen, like I mentioned before, a source of light, a really, really bright source of light, and a camera. And of course, you should have OBS installed. I'm going to fix my portable green screen on my chair now, and then hop into OBS to set things up. Right, so in OBS, you want to add your camera source. In my case, I've already done that. But if you don't know how to do that, you can go ahead and click on this plus thingy here. Go to Video Capture Device. Click on OK, select your video capture device source or your camera. In my case, it's your Logitech C920. I select it and then click on OK to add a new source. Now, what you want to do next, you want to go ahead and crop this footage you are seeing on your screen to get rid of any extra background you might have. You want to have a nice, clean, green background. So you select your footage by clicking on it and then hold Alt on your keyboard and then drag this all the way over here to crop. Do the same for the right side and then you can do the same for the top. So you have a nice green background. You can see everything is clean now. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch this so it's more visible. Alright, so now I want to add a filter which is going to get rid of our green background. So you want to right click on your video capture device and add a filter. Then over here, you want to click on this plus thingy here and add a chroma key. Click OK to add. Then you're going to turn this chroma key off for now and move this window all the way to the side so you can work with this image over here. Then you want to go to the key color type and select custom color. Click on select color. Then in this tab, you want to click on pick screen color. Once that's done, you want to go over to your green screen and click on the background or the green that's closest to you in my case it's around this side so i'm gonna click on it then i click on ok over here to apply it now i want to turn the chroma key back on and then move the smoothness all the way to the left and similarity bit by bit to the left so you can see yourself again and have a nicely cropped background you can also smoothen the crop by using this smoothness slider here slide it just a bit to the right i'm gonna leave mine at five to smoothen it just a bit then I'm going to click on close. All right, so now you can adjust it just a bit or also test it. So I'm going to just drop this background inside now just to test it. You can see we vanished from it because this uh, settings over here are position sensitive. So you have to bring the video capture device all the way to the top so we can have our video capture device on the top. All right, so most likely you want to use this also for your video games. So I'm going to turn this off and then add a game capture real quick. Once that's done, you can see that our game will appear right on top of our camera, which is not the case. We don't want that to happen. So what you want to do now is to be able to move this game capture all the way below the camera. So you have to make sure the camera is always on top. Once you have it over, you can go ahead and lock our game and then adjust our camera over here. I'm just going to adjust it. If you want to put it in the middle to the left, it's entirely up to you. However, I want to do it, but if you're playing the game, you want to make sure it looks, you don't want to be facing here and be playing the game like this. So you can go ahead and click on your camera and then go to transform, then flip horizontal. So once you click on this, you can see that I'm playing the game like this also. And I'll just be facing where I'm playing the game actually. And it looks more realistic, I would say. So I'm going to really stress on this again. You should get as much light as you can because the more light you have, the better your final footage is going to be looking. It's also really important to note that the color of the background doesn't always have to be green. It can be blue, it can be yellow. You just have to make sure you are not wearing the same color of the dress or else you're going to be on some Harry Potter shit, bro. Trust me. Lastly, make sure the quality of your camera is good to make the best out of it. If your camera is trash, your final footage is also going to be trash. But the good news is you probably have a smartphone with a high camera quality. So why not watch this video right here where I show you exactly how you can turn your phone into a webcam to get high quality streams and recordings. See you soon.